What's up everybody, it's Alex, the founder and CEO of Motoroso.com, your dedicated mods marketplace. If you've been following along with our channel, you know that we've been taking our brand new 2020 C8 Corvette out to Buttonwillow and Laguna Seca Raceway, doing development with KW suspension on their coilovers for the car, the club sport system, and their brand new four-way adjustable Variant 5 coilovers. You're gonna wanna check those videos out if you haven't seen them yet, and subscribe to the channel because we've got tons more uh, products that are coming out for this vehicle that we're constantly testing and developing new products so that you can learn from what we're doing on track and sort out some of the problems like all the braking issues that we've been having with our Corvette. But in this video, we're gonna show you the Forgeline GS1R monoblock dedicated track day wheels that we've chosen and why. And of course, we are a Forgeline dealer, so if you're looking for wheels or any of your other mods, check us out at Motoroso.com where you can reach us on live chat or you can call us toll free at 833-MOTOROSO. That's 833-668-6767. Let's dig in. When we knew we wanted dedicated wheels for the track, one of the best brands you can turn to in the industry is Forgeline Motorsports. This is a company that makes some of the best wheels in the industry and they really started out as being dedicated and completely focused on motorsports and racing performance. And of course, they're now making wheels for a lot of different applications, including the street. But this is the GS1R wheel out of their motorsports series of products, meaning this thing, of course, works fine on the street, but this is dedicated and truly engineered and intended for race track duty, which is what we we are gonna be putting it through for sure. Now it's a 19 inch front, just like stock and a 20 inch rear, but we went to a 9.5 inch front which allowed us to go from a 225 to a 265 wide tire. And it's an 11.5 inch wide rear, allowing us to go up from the 305 rear to a 325 rear tire, which is exactly what we have on the car now. So we've got an apples to apples comparison on the tires. Now it's also a 60 offset in the rear and a 47 offset in the front, which is gonna bring the wheels out to the edge of the car so that they look like they should, because as you all know, OEM manufacturers, for some reason, they tuck those wheels way in and it just looks ridiculous. That means you can't fit as big of a tire. So these are gonna look spectacular on the car in this matte bronze finish, which is gonna look great next to our torch red. Now, when it comes to how Forge Line manufactures wheels like these, they start with one big piece of aluminum and machine it down, making it a monoblock wheel. One piece of aluminum, which is about as strong as something can be. Now, it's the little attention to detail that Forge Line uses to make these things the lightest and strongest in the industry, right on down to things like their I-beam construction in the spokes, which just cuts a little bit of material out of the sides without sacrificing the structural rigidity. And their goal with these wheels is for them to be ultra strong, ultra stiff and ultra light, and light being one of the most important things in a performance wheel. You remember in science class when you're in middle school or high school and they took a bicycle front tire and they stuck a handle through it and they spun the wheel and you held both sides of the handles and as you turned it, you felt the centrifugal force of the wheel and how significant those forces can be. Now imagine the weight of a big heavy automotive tire going 150 miles an hour. The forces are extreme and that rotational unsprung mass on a vehicle is extremely important to reduce because the lighter it is, the faster it can spin up and down, right? So you have less energy, less horsepower essentially being required to spin that wheel up and less energy required to slow that wheel down under braking, less braking forces required to slow the vehicle. But most importantly, when you're going to tip into the corners left and right, that rotation rotational centrifugal force not fighting against the steering makes the car feel extremely nimble. So that light weight reduction is gonna make the car feel dramatically different and we can't wait to report back on how it feels at our next track day. And the last reason for choosing these forge line wheels is because in the 19 inch wheel, they were able to get the inside diameter of the barrel much larger to accommodate big brake upgrades. And we have our Brembo six piston uh, kit coming, which has the BM6 alien fist caliper. And we're going from a 350 millimeter rotor up to a 380 millimeter rotor. And we need the room for that extra big brake kit without having to go to a 20 inch wheel. And this makes it possible. So uh, next up, we're gonna check the weights and enjoy the beauty footage. Thank you. 
Okay, wow, I was not expecting this kind of weight savings. That was five pounds per front wheel and nine pounds per rear wheel for a total of 28 pounds weight savings across all four wheels. That is gonna be very, very, very noticeable. That unsprung rotational mass, um, it makes a much bigger difference when that mass is rotating. So this is gonna feel like the car is much, much lighter, much, much more nimble. And keep in mind, that is all weight in the wheels only because the tires are exactly the same on these two applications. So really excited by how much weight we've just saved just with these forge line wheels. Thank you.